We on the campus of UTA right now. Park jam is about to go down. They begged me to come out, make my only appearance. You know, only make too many appearances. If you Dion, you can only make too many appearances. You know what I'm saying? So it's about to be live. UTA Park Jam, basically the first showcase of all the fraternities and sororities and, you know, the Greek organizations on campus. Step show, kind of stroll off type thing, and it was good to see everybody out there having fun, showing love, Greek unity at its finest, all the organizations on UTA campus coming together and, uh, you know, turning up. Much love to all the bros that came out, though, and showed all the love. We was out, we was acting a fool, you know what I'm saying? The nasty dogs came out and shut it down, but yeah. Bros had to come back a fool one time for the one time. But how thirsty you is? Do never put your lips on this, or you gonna get the Bumpy Johnsons. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the Bumpy Johnsons? We at the uh, Terrell Terrell football game. Everybody check out my little brother. Check out these Terrell Tigers. See what they see what they gonna do. Next day we came to Turo. Check out my little brother Devante. And the young Turo Tigers get a dub. Devante been playing football pretty much his whole life. He got a uh, he got a bunch of pitches when he was a when he was a young lowercase G. But he a senior now, so you know he taking it serious. He out there doing his thing. They've been winning. They've been doing. They having a pretty good season this year. Trying to win the district before they start their playoff run. Much love Devante, man. He been working real hard, so. We're gonna see what comes out of this. Little brother bigger than the big brother. Hey, y'all see when I dunked on him though. Y'all see the We're like a walk on. My dad was at the game. He come to every event we've had, every sports event. He was there even when I was red shirt in UTA. He was at every game, even though I wasn't gonna play. He was still there, and that really. Stuck with me. First of all, I want to tell you, I'm the father. My name is Dwight Senior. And I want y'all to know that I taught him everything he knows. But I didn't teach him everything I know. See, that's the killer. <laughs> when I would take him to the gym, I would show him how to do the finger roll. And he'd end up doing the titsy roll. So I said, hey, Theo, you got to get the jump shot, man. You got to flick the wrist. You got to flick the wrist. And he said, I heard that song already. I said, no, it's a technique. You got to flick the wrist. He said, no, nah, I know what you're talking about. Flicky the wrist. Flicky the wrist. Flick. But the bottom line is, he's got a tremendous work ethic. He has the jump shot. And I told him, I said, no matter what the circumstances are, it's not how big you are, it's how big you play. And that's the formula of his success. Got to keep switching it up. You got to have a bunch of different pairs of shoes. So you don't run through them, have corns all on your feet. You don't want the Bumpy Johnsons and you don't want the corns on your feet. The ladies don't like that. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's just the way I'm at with mine. <laughs> Today we got in the gym with the great Donnie Beecham. My boy KB came to work out with us. He giving us some pick and roll stuff. Just some stuff that I was specifically asking for him to help me out with. But just a lot of stuff as far as changing directions, changing speeds, and being efficient, passing off of it and shooting jump shots. Relocating, Donnie, Donnie definitely know what he be talking about. Hey, kid, one take joy. We just adding some salt, pick and roll. Point guard stuff. Professional from the from the legend. The great Danny Beach. I've been knowing my man Jet since 
2007. I saw him come in as a walk on, watch him work, watch him get better. And uh, even now today, we get in the gym and we try to figure out what else he can add to his game. And that's what the, the movement working like a walk on is all about is working as hard as you can, persevering, getting over obstacles, and uh, working even when it seems like the, the, the odds are stacked against you. I know y'all wondering why I got these stitches, man. I, uh, I was on the tryout. I was on the D-League tryout. I was in Indiana picking a dude up full on defense. He wasn't liking it. And, uh, you know, we was going at it. He ended up throwing the bow. Cut me open real bad. And uh, I'm talking about leaking, dog. I had the blood dripping down. You know, I'm looking like Creed. You know what I'm saying? I'm on there. Man, made the coaches notice me. So it was kind of a blessing, man. Everything happened for a reason. That's why I'm, <laughs> that's why I had these shades on about two weeks. Look. One take Drake, Marquez. This band it adds resistance on the way down, and then of course you're pushing up, so it's resistance the whole way through. There's no easy part of the movement. She ain't easy. She ain't easy, man. This ain't for no, this ain't for no camera. <laughs> I'm over here hurt, bro. He's still going though. So yeah, man, we in here every day, man. Just, just working and grinding every day in the gym. I mean, it might look repetitive, but at the end of the day, it, it should be. You need to be working on your craft. It, it don't, it's not going to happen overnight. One workout ain't going to do it. One week, it take countless hours. You need to be doing the same move. Actually, Bruce Lee actually said, he fears the man that practiced one kick 10,000 times than the man that practiced 10,000 kicks one time because you're not going to have it down. You need to be practicing the same move. You need to perfect a craft. You need to perfect a move. And that's what we're doing. We in here getting everything perfect. Hey, work like a walk-on.